and Shalom. First of all, I'd like to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the Arkham out there doing the work around the four corners, man. Alright, uh, Romans 3 and 3 is going to be the topic of this lesson. I'll read it now. It says, Romans, the third chapter, and the third verse. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? So, Brothers that go out there, man, that are really going out on the highways and byways teaching this truth, we're not concerned whether people believe or whether people do not believe. We know, we're, we're highly aware that the Lord's got a remnant of our people around the four corners of the earth that are going to hear this truth, alright? Some people want to believe in Buddha, some people want to be Muslims, you know? Ain't nothing new in this world uh, pertaining to um, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, I believe, ninth verse around there all right there ain't nothing new in this world man so people were worshiping all kind of madness back then in the ancient world and the same thing um continues today man so guess what we don't give a shit man just to put it plain all right uh i'll read it again it says for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make faith of yahweh without effect god forbid yea let yahweh be true but every man a liar. And at the end of the day, man, we're going to see who's right and who's wrong when the time comes, man. When you see the destruction of Esau's kingdom, all right? When you start seeing chariots um, beaming up the elect and the, 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 uh, the, the remnant of Israel, man. All right? Because this is what this truth is all about. It's all about the Lord's people. And those people who don't believe, man, guess what? They're going to be judged, man. All right? They're going to be judged for all the shit they've been talking on the comment boards. All right, everything they've been saying against the apostles, all right, and the elders, all right, they're gonna get judged for that. And anyone that laid hands on on the little ones too, man, the scripture says, um, you know, anyone that offends the little ones, all right, roughly paraphrasing, it would be better that they had a millstone hanged around their neck and drowned in the sea, all right. Um, next scripture I'm gonna read is uh, Matthew 12. Go through this real quick, man. Matthew 12 and 36. Uh, Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by the, thy words thou shalt be justified. All right, that's the men that's teaching the truth. Because it's not our words. We're speaking the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And by your words, that's talking shit against the men of the Lord, all right, and against this truth, because really not coming up against them, against the men of the Lord, you're coming up against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the spirit and power of this earth, man, of the of the whole world, of the universe. All right. So you got you got a lot to pay for, man. Um. So that's, that's it, man. The point is, man, we go out there to wake up the elect, man. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. We ain't concerned with you, you you nations out there talking shit. And mainly the two-thirds, man. There's a time that's coming where two-thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be destroyed. And that's spoken of in Zechariah. And I don't have to get Zechariah the... Um, no, I might as well get it. Where is it? 13 and 8. Yeah, man. Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in the land, in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. And that's talking about the one third, 144,000, the elect of Israel, man. All right, and two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and so forth. You're gonna be destroyed for all the shit you've been doing, man. All right, except you repent. So with that, I'm so I'm gonna say Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Brakatah, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Brakatam, and Shalom to all you Akim, man.